Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show how we can turn yourself into sand using Adobe After Effects completely without any plugins. I'll show you the whole process, so let's get started. To recreate this effect, put a camera on a tripod and record two shots. A clean plate shot, and then play out the action in the main shot. And that's basically all we need. So we can start editing. Before that I want to quickly mention Envato Element. It's an amazing tool for all creators, offering a huge library with tons of creative assets and presets. They offer great stock footage, awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. If you are a filmmaker, it will definitely save you a lot of time. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's fire up After Effects. To start with, place the shots on the timeline. Main shot on the bottom and a clean plate on top of that. First we need to separate the body from the background. We can do this pretty easily with the Roto Brush tool. Duplicate the original shot. Draw a selection around the body and add After Effects Calculate the Frames. Of course you can adjust the selection when needed, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Once that is done, freeze the selection. You can also adjust the settings. And pre-compose it. Now we need to cover the body with a clean plate at the point where it starts turning into sand. With a clean plate layer selected, I made a mask around the body and feathered it out a bunch. Next we can animate the opacity of this layer to go from 0 to 100%. And we have this. Now bring the roto layer on top of the timeline. Draw a mask and enable animation for the mask path. Here we can decide which parts of the body should disappear first. So I'll start with the right arm and head, slowly extending the mask over the whole body, finishing with the legs. Then change the mask blending mode to subtract and feather it out. You should get something like this. Next let's add some sand. First duplicate the roto layer, Remove the mask and pre-compose it. Add CC Particle Systems effect to this layer. Now, this looks weird, but we can work with this. Let's set the velocity and gravity to zero for now. Change the X and Y radius and enable animation for these properties as well as for position. Go a few frames ahead and move the particles using these values based on how the body disappears. You don't need to cover the whole body with the particles yet, because we'll add some more duplications later. Now we want the particles to be emitted only from the inside of the body. So under Particle, just enable the Source Alpha Inheritance. This will basically use a roto mask we made previously. Next let's add some more motion to the particles. Increase the velocity to something around 0.3 or 4. Under physics change the animation type to direction. Then change the direction to roughly 90 degrees. To make the particles fly up, decrease the gravity. Now it's just a matter of playing around with these settings to get something you like. Furthermore, we can change the color from this weird red, yellow, whatever, just change it to something that looks like sand. Also, maybe reduce the particle opacity. By the way, there are more options for the particle type, so you can also experiment with that, but our goal is to make it look like sand, so I'll keep the line option. All of these particles look the same, so what we can do to make it better is we can go into the pre-comp, Create a new solid, add fractal noise effect to it, and use it as a luma mat. This will make the particle emission look a bit more organic. 
Obviously we need a lot more particles to make this look cool. So duplicate the particle layer and reanimate the position and other values for a different body part, for example the head. You can make the radius a bit smaller, maybe change the gravity or velocity to get some variation. Or you can even use a simple wiggle expression for the direction to make it change around a bit while the animation is happening. Which you can do by holding Alt and clicking the stopwatch icon. You don't need to follow all these steps, these are just little tricks that can make the particles look a bit more realistic. Adding small groups of particles, especially on hands and feet, really helps to sell the effect. Then just keep adding more and more duplications until you have something like this. To top it all off you can add some color grading. If you are asking how the handshot was created, essentially it's the same process. You start by creating a roto mask, then you draw and animate a simple mask to make the fingers disappear, and add loads of particles. And that's it for this tutorial. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.